Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is the most common type of cartilage. And like other cartilage, this is a type of connective tissue. So what are the identifying point? We have the perichondrium here. We have the extra cellular matrix. We have the interterritorial matrix and also the territorial matrix. The territorial matrix are around the chondrocytes, interterritorial matrix in between the axis groups of the chondrocytes. We have the perichondrium. Perichondrium has two layers. Outer layer is fibrous, inner layer is cellular. Outer fibrous layer contains the fibroblast, inner cellular layer contains the chondroblast, that is chondrogenic. And the hyaline cartilage is avascular, but the perichondrium is vascular. Hyaline cartilage has no nerve supply. Okay, so we got that hyaline cartilage and the location, articular end of the long bone, nose, larynx, trachea, bronchi, ventral end of the ribs are the locations for the hyaline cartilage function. They resist compression, provide cushioning and decrease friction provide structural support, just like the structural support for the trachea, for the nose, for the respiratory passages, that is done by the hyaline cartilage. And hyaline cartilage forms the foundation for the fetal skeleton. Okay, so if you go to the perichondrium, we'll find out that Perichondrium is a dense connective tissue. This is the perichondrium, essential for the growth and maintenance of cartilage. Outer layer contains type 1 collagen is present here, but we have to remember that the hyaline cartilage, it has the type 2 collagen. Okay, so we got in perichondrium outer layer type 1 collagen and fibroblast cell with the inner layer cells the inner layer contains the mesenchymal stem cell for chondrogenesis we'll get the chondrogenic layer here and the perichondrium has blood supply and not supply so this is the chondrogenic layer we'll get the from the chondrogenic layer we'll get the chondroblast and chondroblast will be the large chondrocytes. Those chondrocytes may stay singly, alone, or may be in isogenous group in the lacuna. So in a lacuna, we may have one chondrocyte. We may get multiple chond chondrocytes. And we'll have matrix formation around the chondrocyte, that is the territorial matrix matrix in between the isogenous group or between the cell that is the interterritorial matrix the chondroblasts are usually smaller than that of the chondrocytes okay the chondrocytes these are coming out of the chondroblast Chondroblasts are coming out from the mesenchymal cell. Mesenchymal cell is the embryonic form of connective tissue cells. So from the mesenchyme is the embryonic form of connective tissue. So from the mesenchymal cell, we'll get the chondroblast. From chondroblast, we'll get the chondrocytes. The chondrocytes are embedded in the extracellular matrix. Chondrocyte secrets maintain extracellular matrix. 
so extracellular matrix is containing the protein so we should have the rough endoplasmic reticulum inside the chondrocytes and also we have the glycogen and lipid these are present inside the chondrocyte chondrocytes are located in the lacuna so they are located in the lacuna lacuna is the cavity for the chondrocytes cartilage has no nerve cartilage has no blood blood vessels so it is a vascular so how it it get nutrition it get nutrition by diffusion because pericondium is vascular it has blood supply so the cartilage will get the nutrition by means of diffusion nutrition and oxygen by means of diffusion okay so for most formation growth and repair this is the pericondrial fibroblast they are derivatives of the mesenchyme then we'll get the chondroblast chondroblast is present below the just in the just below the or the lower lower layer of the it is in the lower layer of the perichondrium okay so from chondroblast we'll get the chondrocyte blast is more active than that of the chondrocyte the chondroblast sends a little bit smaller than that of the regular chondrocytes cells grow through mitosis a positional growth and interstitial growth so this cell will grow and that will lead to a positional growth we have also interstitial growth we have deposition of matrix around the cell that is the interstitial growth a positional growth that means the chondroblast will multiply and it will increase the thickness of the of the cartilage okay so this is the matrix matrix is composed of proteoglycans hyaluron and type 2 collagen fibrils and we'll get the get the link protein core protein and certainly chondroitin sulfate here and we'll have collagen type 2 here fibril here collagen type 2 fibril okay we got that so this is the composition of the matrix or the it has the fiber and the ground substance okay and these are produced by the chondroblast and chondrocyte chondroblast chondrocyte produce that that's why we found that in the in this cell we have a lot of rough endoplasmic reticulum that is very essential for production of those this structure and this structure is very important they actually they actually embed with that of water so that the weight weight of the cartilage is around 70 percent because water is embedded here so that's why it maintains the firmness of the of the cartilage and also gives the strength of the cartilage so these are for embedding water okay so medical application of our knowledge of histology osteoarthritis inflammation of the articular cartilages especially what we use too much like knee joint hip joint maybe the phalangeal joint wrist joint okay there will be damage to the articular cartilage and that will invite the macrophages there will be inflammatory substances will be released from the macrophages that will lead to joint pain and destruction of the joint this is the disease of the old age after the age of 40 this should we should get osteoarthritis calcification of hyaline cartilage is also possible as the age advances some of the hyaline cartilage may undergo calcification chondroma is a benign tumor of the cartilage chondrosarcoma is a slow growing malignant tumor or cancer of the cartilage achondroplasia is a clinical condition 
which is associated with with decreased endocondyl ossification and the individual will be dwarf or short in stature okay we got that so we have to find out some of the highlights most common type of cartilage is the hyaline cartilage pericondium is a fibrocellular covering over the hyaline cartilage it also covers the elastic cartilage but pericondium does not cover the fibrocartilage chondroblast cells are derived from the mesenchymal cell in the inner layer of the of the perichondrium from chondroblast will get the chondrocyte and this cell has the capacity to produce the the collagen and the ground substance okay lacuna is the cavity for the chondrocyte isogenous group that chondrocyte divides go through the mitosis and they become mature to form isogenous isogenous group of the chondrocytes interterritorial matrix the matrix between the between the isogenous group or between the cell territorial matrix the matrix around the cell or around the lacuna a positional group that is mostly done by the chondroblast so it is increasing in number and it will give the thickness of the hyaline cartilage interstitial growth is due to the deposition of the of the matrix around the lacuna and that will give rise to the interstitial growth okay so that is my acknowledgement and that's all about the histology of the hyaline cartilage so if you have any question please feel free to ask me and please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now